Okay, Mary, so what are you going to be showing us today? Uh, so y'all said that there were records that were skipping back here on this machine. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we did recently just change this needle. I'll just give you guys a little hint here. Um, we always put a sticky note with the date that we changed the needle on it so that we know how new the needle is or how okay. old it is. That's helpful. We usually go through um, a needle about every three weeks. About every 30 days or so, we change the needles on this machine because we are spinning all day long every day. Um, but sometimes the weight, the counterweight can get out, out of balance. The tone arm can be, um, the, cart the cartridge can get out of alignment. So it's helpful that every now and then, maybe, you know, every time you change your needle, really, ideally, um, you should realign your cartridge and rebalance your tone arm. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. We've got these nifty little cartridge alignment tools. We saw these in the store. Um, this is a mirrored one, which is really cool because when you put it on your turntable, um, you can see your um, your needle. Yeah, see your cartridge is crooked. Cartridge is it's quite a bit. I mean, it's not too bad right now, but I can definitely tell that it's off. Yeah. And that's definitely going to. Um, if you want to show the take a camera over here and kind of show them this direction like look at the needle from this yeah. viewpoint like if you bring the camera down to here and look at it that way there you go you'll be able to see too that it's um that it is crooked so we're gonna fix that so you'll need a little tool a small and mini flathead screwdriver and mary how often would you say you have to do this I mean, it's helpful to do it every time you change your needle or if you're having issues with your machine. So like you guys are saying, hey, it's skipping and you know, I know we just changed the needle, so what should we do? And see, I can tell that this is loose. Yeah. So see, look, the head wasn't even screwed on there properly. So like we use this machine so frequently that, I mean, it probably, I mean, just looking at that needle, it looks like it's a little bent too. So it's really important that you take care of your machine and that um, that you have a good needle on your machine. Because if you play a record with a damaged needle, then um, then you're going to damage your records. I hear all the time people bash um, the the red needles. They, is it, is well, it? I mean, they bash other brands, <laughs> and I'm not going to like name any names, but there's a lot of people that will bash. Um, brands of records or turntables that they don't like. Well, the fact is like, if you play a um, record with a bad needle, no matter what brand it is, you're gonna damage your records. It doesn't have to be a certain brand to damage your records. It's a bad needle period is gonna damage your records. So it's important also to have the head shell screwed on properly. So doing that right there is gonna fix a lot of your issues. See how nice and tight that is. And um, we're gonna go ahead and change the needle too. I'll give that a little bit of a little, yep. And see? what we can do too is um, while the needle is off right here, I can uh, line this cartridge here. So like right now, it looks a little bit crooked to me. So I'm gonna loosen up this so a little bit. Do you think it being uneven was the original problem or do you think it was because it was loose? I think it's a combination of the two. Um, if the head shell's loose and not screwed on there properly, yeah, it's going to skip. If the cartridge is not aligned properly, it's also going to skip. If you've got a bad needle, it can skip too. So we're just going to do all the things and hopefully fix what was going on here. So right now that looks pretty good. Now I did align it without the needle on there. I'm gonna go over there and grab a needle. Or Logan, will you grab me one of the needle replacements for this machine, please? Yes, ma'am. And Logan will bring us the needle while we're um, balancing the tone arm. So, you probably did this when you set up your machine, um, but it's also good to do it every time you change your needle or once a month or once every couple of months, just to make sure that, you know, it hasn't gotten bumped or, you know, like we, everybody in this place plays. No, I need a, um, one for the LP120. One that looks like this. Is it an MP? It's a. It's gonna be the nine, weird looking black. Nine five E. It's the one with the slant. It's either black or green. We have both of those. So we yep. sell the black and the green. Um, this is the black one. Is there so. a difference between the two? 
not that I know of. I think just the color. Um, Audio Technica, now somebody might be able to like comment and let me know what the difference is. But I know Audio Technica revamped all of their stuff. This is the, like their needles and their head shells and their cartridges and all that stuff. They changed everything up not too long ago, about six months or so ago, six, eight months ago. And um, they changed the, the needle to be the slanted version. Um, if you have an older machine, you might have one that's flat. It's a different type. It's a different style. But this is the one that's slanted. This is the newer, the newer version. So in order to just um, to change the needle, y'all saw I just popped it off. You're just gonna, you're just gonna find that little hole down there, and then just snap it on, and then you'll slide that off, and we'll verify that it's lined up properly here in a second after we balance the toner. So in order to balance your toner. See, like right now it's got some weight on it, but I don't know if that's the right weight or not. It says three grams, but who knows if it's right or not. come on the other side for you real yeah. quick so they can. So I'm going to actually like zero this out. In order to do that, I'm going to move the counterweight to where the arm is just like floating horizontally. It's a little heavy. It's a little bit heavy too about right there we go and see it's floating you don't want it up too high you just kind of want it to be level that's going to be your zero so like right now it wasn't balanced because it's on three so i'm going to zero it out i'm not going to touch the weight i'm just going to touch the numbers and i'm going to take it back to zero that is zero so that's it's a level now okay so now what you want to do is apply your weight so every cartridge and um, stylus combination have a uh, specified um, grams that they of weight that they want on the needle in order to not damage your records. Um, so this one right here, the recommended weight is two and a half to three grams. Okay. And so what we're gonna do now is touch the counterweight and we're going to turn it that's half, that's one, one and a half, two, two and a half, and three. So we're gonna just do two and a half right now. And now you can see that arm has two and a half grams of pressure applied to it. So uh, can you tell us what happens if you don't apply, apply enough pressure or if there's too much pressure on the needle? Sure, if you don't apply enough pressure, your, your arm is gonna jump and skip all over the place and it's not gonna play properly. If you apply too much pressure, you could actually like etch into your vinyl and there will be like vinyl on your needle. I've seen that. And I had a guy bring me a record one time that had um, the grooves cut out from playing his records with the needle he had had since he bought the machine four years ago. So if you've never changed your needle, now might be the day to do that. Um, be sure to get the right kind. We can help you with that if you have any questions. Um, but now this tone arm is balanced and the cartridge is aligned, but what we're gonna do is just double check it one more time. We're gonna drop that stylus there on the bullseye and just see if it's lined up. And to me, it looks pretty darn good. Yeah, that is right on there. And then we also made sure that the head shell is tightened. Um, it was very loose when I came over here. So that was part of the problem that um, y'all were having when you said that it was skipping. So so there we go. We're gonna, everything should play properly and um, that's how you do it. And be sure to change your date underneath your yep. turntable. It's a little hint that um, we've been doing here since the beginning. So it helps to kind of just give you an idea of how long you can go in between needle changes and stuff like that. Well, thank you, Mary, for showing us how to do all that. Absolutely. And we will see y'all later, guys. Right. Bye.